Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dad, welcome to Mega Aquarium, which is basically Roller Coaster Tycoon, but fish, and I love it. Which I already know, because if you've been paying attention, you might be aware this has been on the channel before. Just after it came out, we did a video on this, and... Oh, it was just wonderful. And since then, they've been building on a really solid foundation. You may notice up at the top left there, Freshwater Frenzy came out, I think, about a year ago or thereabouts. And tomorrow, got my hands on this one a bit early, Architects Collection. A whole bunch of new toys for building more exciting aquariums. So, go on, why not? So, welcome to my aquarium. You can tell it's an aquarium because there's some flags with fish on the front door. Um, you can't tell it's an aquarium, however, because of the fish. We don't have any of those. So, quite frankly, it's optimistic we're charging $68 to come in. Like, people are gonna feel misled, so we better build some bloody fish. No, tanks. We build tanks and we put fish in them. Sorry, it's my first day working at the aquarium. I'm still figuring this stuff out. Speaking of which, let's go over some basics here. So, yeah, here's what I like to do. When you first come in, there should be a big lagoon tank. You want to introduce them to, you know, some small basic fish as a starting point. So uh, we'll have this be, yeah, nice massive tank right there. Dropped a bit of money on this. I'm just in creative mode, by the way. So I've got a few more toys and I can start a little bit down the tech tree. So it can have a certain number of fish. Let's go over to the fish menu. Different fish, different size. Obviously, you can have a small number of big fish or a big number of small fish. Let's start off with something nice and simple here. Like, you know, just a combination of various basic tropical fish. Because these guys are nice and not fussy. For when, you know, we're starting off and we've not got a huge amount of money. So, this little lad here. And by the way, you can learn fish facts as you're playing. So, this guy eats the species of other fish. Okay, unpleasant fact to start off with. But we're still learning fish facts, damn it. So, he's nice and simple. He'll generate prestige. We use that to level up the aquarium. He'll generate ecology points. That's basically like a type of science research to unlock more fish with. All he wants is a moderately warm tank because he's a tropical fish, not a cold water one. And indeed, he wants a certain base level of water quality. So, buddy, how about we slap some of you in this tank right here? Yeah, he's a bit on the small side. Now, he is dying. He is dying a little bit because, yeah, we didn't sort out that whole water quality and heat thing. So, okay, let's get that sorted out here. The reason I've started in this nice wide area is we need to fence some of this off. So, I'm going to build a nice big wall right over here so that we can hide some stuff. Because the beauty of this game is it really fully embraces the idea of an aquarium. You need to make sure your fish are nice and healthy, but you've got to make sure the equipment stays nice and hidden. Hence why we need pumps. Pumps are amazing. So, slap that down there. Anti-pump to this lovely area. And now, all of a sudden, we can start laying at what we need. So... Okay, this tank can't be that big. Does a basic combi mini do the job? Is that good enough? And... Okay, that was good enough for water quality. It wasn't good enough for temperature. There you go. One large heater. We'll sort that out. Water quality is... Uh, yeah, miles above where it needs to be. Spectacular. So they're also going to be needing a tiny bit of food. They want to eat orange pellets. Well, we can sort that out too. Though again, we want that nice and hidden. So, one orange dispenser, just slap that down very nearby to the uh, door right over here, lovely. And here we go, how about an employee who happens to come with a bit of feeding skill? So, as a result of that, yes, it's a combination of uh, fitness and uh, precision, he can feed fish really nicely. Welcome to the team, lad. Right, we got plenty of spare space in this tank. And by the way, you can rename everything in this game. It's so damn good. So we can add some more fish in for a bit more diversity. So for example, yeah, we got another fish right here. Eats the same food. But you've got to start factoring in how fish interact with each other. This fish is a wimp. So, that's fine. Most fish will just leave it alone. But some fish are bullies. You can't put bullies in with wimps or the wimps are going to be really sad. So, slap in a few more fish right over here. Though, yes, as we add more, we're going to need to, uh, yeah, do a bit more in the way of quality in a sec. And one more fish too. This one's a shoulder. So, okay, we just need a bunch of them or he'll be unhappy. And yes, don't mix saltwater and freshwater fish. 
or tropical and cold water fish. That way disaster lies. But basic tropical salt water, that's your bread and butter. These guys, no trouble with them whatsoever. So all right, seven of them, no trouble. I say no trouble. The water quality is like zero. Let's sort that out. There we go. One large filter sorts that out. No trouble whatsoever. Now we've got a tank. And uh, you can, by the way, just, uh, yeah, not just zoom right in. If you zoom in enough, you go into on the ground mode and you get to actually explore your aquarium on foot. And if you want to, you can just go into the tanks and just, you know, role play as a fish. The tank's a bit boring, though. And uh, down on the ground, uh, that's very obvious. So, okay, we need to sort that out. We're just going to go for some nice cheap eel grass over here that's also just making the whole area a little bit more uh, planty. And maybe just one decorative anchor, which isn't just for show. It does make the exhibit a bit more uh, exciting. So, okay, we've got ourselves some fish. I'd say it's time to actually open the exhibit here. So, uh, here we go. People start coming in. She's going to go over to the tank and be like, oh my goodness, that's very exciting. She starts generating ecology because she's learning about fish, damn it. Meaning I get to start unlocking new fish. And uh, oh, there's all sorts of exciting new ones uh, like, say, fresh water lads. So I don't know what a sea needle is, though. Ooh, uh, puffer fish. Well, I can hardly turn down a puffer fish. Also, I want vending machines, but I don't want them sticking out into the aquarium. So what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, create a little alcove uh, for them. Because I feel like that, oh, that's much better. That's so much nicer. The game's really forgiving, by the way. Like, if you change your mind on something, you want to change it. You can sell it back for its original price. So you can just, you know, modify this whole place as much as you want to. And uh, speaking of the game being generous and just understanding me and understanding the genre. Oh, let's get theming. Because there's way more paint than there used to be. And these days, and I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the game when it first launched. Yeah, your basic stuff, like basic benches, they just were as they were. But if you go for slightly more expensive stuff, you can theme the benches, the bins, the toilets, the doors, everything. So, okay. This here looks like a kind of rock pool to me. So, logically, tropical beach paint would be what we do. And that's just free. So we can have a tropical beach toilet, tropical beach, okay, the vending machines just as they are, but whatever. Then we can just have the floor, be all sandy as well, spectacular. Can we have the, oh, you can even do the entrance. I didn't know that, that's really cute. Okay, so we got the entrance too. And this is just free, because the game's like, you know what? It makes perfect sense to me that you would potentially want to theme everything. Because you're playing a theme game, so why wouldn't you want to theme everything? And now as a result of that, oh, that's lovely. Okay, so that down some decoration, some nice palm trees. And I've extended just a little bit, because yeah, it's nice and cheap to just buy more land. Also, that's sand. Don't know why, but it just is. So what I want to do is, uh, yeah, hang on, hang on, get into my aquarium here. So people come in, they enjoy this nice entry pool... I want them now to come to here and there to be one big way forward. Something more impressive. So if they start off on the beach, the next room in this direction ought to be like the ocean. They're literally traveling from the outside world on a magical journey through the beach into the water. But I don't want just walls here. I want, yeah, a little kind of pathway through that's flanked by fish. So I want fish here and I want fish here to create like a little narrow passageway that allows them to go in this direction and beyond into the terrifying void we haven't purchased yet. Because who cares what exists beyond the aquarium? Here we go. This looks good. A deep observer tank. So yeah, can be observed from three distinct sides, meaning I could, yeah, put them no, no, around over here, put this in this direction, then extend it a little bit and uh, oh no that works that works right there then just put another one around the other side uh, perfectly matching and uh, oh look at that oh that's gonna be beautiful here we go royal grammar let's learn a fish fact by the way so surprisingly hardy in the wild they claim small territories in vertical reef walls good for them so, we'll take some of them, because they generate, yes, not ecology, but science, which gets me more equipment, not more fish. So, you need a balance of them. So, okay. These guys seem pretty chill. Then we've also got... Okay. This guy is a dick, and doesn't like living with his own immediate family members, so he can't be put in with the royal grammar. 
So instead we could put them in with, yes, soldier fish and squirrel fish. Pretty not fussy. They just need, yeah, some cave and no lights. So just don't attach the lights to the cage. We'll be fine. Not cage, tank. Sorry, as I say, very bad at aquariums. Oh, and they all work together beautifully. It's a color-coded tank right here. There's pink, there's purple. That's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. So, okay. Now, we just need to set them up right. Step one, they want cave. Doesn't just mean literally cave, though. It just means somewhere they can hide. But how about we give them some nice cave right at the back? Eight out of eight. That is spectacular. But just in case we ever want to add more to that, how about just a little bit more too? All right, they want somewhere to hide. Let's give them somewhere to hide. Oh, but more importantly, we've got archways. Oh, yeah. A little archway. Then again, that kind of... It kind of blocks the fish from being viewed uh, from one angle. But I kind of want to keep it because uh, I like the sense of uh, illusion and transition as we move uh, from one room to another. Okay, as we had like pink and purple on this side, I kind of want a yellow theme on the other side because, uh, okay, it's probably not appropriate to, you know, group fish by color rather than behavior, but that's not going to stop me. Though this bastard needs... Uh, Hugely high water quality. But, yes, certain fish are scavengers. They don't contribute to bio load, and they just basically eat fish waste. Though, you've got to be careful that they themselves don't get eaten. So, yeah, this longhorn cowfish is fine, though, because it comes with a warning, but all it's going to eat is uh, starfish. It doesn't want to eat the uh, hermit crab. So, uh, okay, hermit crab, how many of you can fit in a single tank? Because I see no reason why there shouldn't be, yeah, just a handful of you in here. So, okay, you guys just get in over here. Enjoy the fish waste. And yeah, this fish is going to start small, but then start growing fast. It's also a wimp, so don't worry about it attacking anything. Apart from starfish, which it attacks, but in like a wimpy way. Okay, so it's only adding four right now, but it's going to get bigger. So that's nine, eighteen, uh, twenty-seven... 27... 36. Let's say, yeah, they're going to get bigger. Be aware of that. So how about one fox face rabbit fish for seven, which, ah, no, it can't be housed with food competitors. Doesn't want that in the slightest. Okay, who else is yellow? Oh, uh, we've got, like, no other yellow fish. So screw this bastard. We'll just go for, like, uh, three yellow tangs. And that should be A-OK. -okay. So one, two, three... And yeah, we're going to be needing to feed these guys green pellets and cockles uh, together with... Okay, they want plants. No trouble, buddies. No trouble. Okay, time to check out my new experience here. And, oh, I love it. I absolutely love uh, my little... Uh, yeah, pink on one side uh, and yellow on the other. Everybody comes over there and says, Oh my goodness, look. Look at those fish. They are spectacular fish. I am having a, a whale of a time. And now we're generating science, we can start doing all sorts of bits and pieces. So, okay, massive tank, which I feel like should be the centerpiece of uh, the next room. So, yeah, good idea. Ecology posters, though. Okay, go for the Belfast tank for now. I love this game. This game's just the best. Oh, no, here's interesting. Just to keep things mixed up, yes, you can get all sorts of animals that you don't actually have the rights to yet. It's just uh, other aquariums who apparently are, you know, very up for setting each other challenges. Not sure that's really how aquariums work, but whatever. Uh, yeah, they'll just say, hey, prove yourself worthy and I shall give you eight crabs. Need tank with a tinfoil barb, three different things. So yeah, that plus two additional. And those requirements need to be met. So ah, the requirements for those animals. Gotcha. Okay, we can do that, buddy. No trouble at all. Oh, and hello, sexy. This is a freshwater fish. And uh, as you may have noticed, freshwater fish are a lot more complicated. Because, yeah, they're the DLC fish. Okay, so these guys enjoy plants. But they also break plants because they're just dicks. Uh, they want fresh water. pH needs to be neutral. That's fine. You just kind of make that acidic by putting in, like, uh, marshy, boggy stuff. So that's not a problem. And uh, needs a huge amount of space. Okay, because uh, they're big swimmers. And also, yeah, more open space. So, okay, you guys need uh, some space with no decoration for swimming and also a certain amount of space in general. Okay, 
we can do this. This is no trouble at all. Step one, I'm going to need a lot more aquarium. Okay, so this girl is going to be huge. And I love it. So, right, this is a massive, massive tank. Just putting a freshwater fish in, by the way, just denotes this as a freshwater tank. So, and another, and another, and another. But there needs to be additional animals, which, ooh, might be a problem. Because I literally don't have, uh, yeah, uh, additional freshwater. Right, well, we need to change our research over in that case. Oh, but here's interesting. I could research a guppy right now. Now, they are wimps. They are freshwater. They're happy with a neutral water. And they're hybrids. So, they'll breed. And on top of that, oh my. Okay, they're nibblable though. So, don't put them in with nibblers. Otherwise, trouble. But okay, we're getting working on that. Okay, you have a need, yeah, at least five uh, to be happy. That's A-OK. -okay. And you also need, uh, right, you guys need plants. So we need to have uh, plants in like one bit of the tank. Maybe the rear to cover up this ugly bit at the back. So, okay, you guys need uh, a lot of plants. And these need to be freshwater plants. Yes. So an Amazon sword. I don't know what that is, but it sounds awesome. We put a whole bunch of plants at the rear over here, but there's got to be plenty of swimming space up front. Also, I can't help but notice we apparently have, um, Greek paint. So, okay, welcome to the sunken city of Atlantis. That's what's going on here. Yeah, there we go. That's all absolutely fine. There's now tons of plans at the back, a little bit of decoration at the front, so that's going to be really eye-catching when you walk in, and some nice open swimming space for the fish that need some open space. This is going to need a hell of a lot of uh, heating and purifying, though. Which is unfortunate, because I've just run out of money, and I put the fish in before actually paying for the, um, paying for anything else. Okay, so we're going to be needing you guys to, um, yeah, buy a lot of chocolate and cola right now, because if you don't, the fish will die. Okay, good news and bad news. The good news is we've unlocked the guppy, so we can now have, uh, yeah, three different animals in here. The bad news is that several of the fish did freeze to death before we were able to gather enough money to pay for the heaters. So, something to keep your eye on, perhaps. Okay, one more Boseman's Rainbow. So, those guys should now be happy, right? And, uh, okay. Right now, they are trying to form a spawning group of at least six animals. Right, we need uh, we need one more. Okay, so now they need... Uh, ah, they need fluffy foliage. So, okay, we can't breed them, but they are at least happy. So, that's nice. This one, not so much. He kind of watched all his friends die. Okay, should have read the breed tag a bit more efficiently because, yeah, okay, we're not going to be able to do any breeding for a couple of ranks. So don't worry about breeding, just create a nice tank with some fish in it, that's fine. Also, even though the room isn't 100% done yet, I think we can at this point let them throw. Okay, there's a really nice tank here that's going to generate a lot of interest, a lot of floor space, so everybody just come and look at the fish, ignore the corpses at the bottom of the tank, it's all fine. Okay, can confirm, the tank's now doing well, nobody's dying, everybody's happy. So I should have enough money now to put in the guppies. Because the guppies are, they're nibblable, but no one's going to nibble them. And also just unlocking more fish, lovely. So guppies need either five or a pair. So okay, a single pair will do just fine. And in just a second, one and two. That should be enough for... Okay, I've just knackered the water quality, admittedly. Boom, all fixed. Bit of extra power put in. I now have a giant pile of decorated crabs. Yes. Not sure if they're good or not, but they seem to be generating science. So I consider that a positive. So they love soft coral. They want to be put in with some soft coral. Great. They also want plants and crustaceans so make sure nothing eats crustaceans but they are larger for crustaceans so some things won't be able to eat them even if they wanted to eat crustacean especially as oh yeah they're armored but here's interesting they're territorial we can't have too many of them squeezed in there's got to be enough space for all of them so more than one 
Then the combined size, i.e. three per crab, can't exceed 25% of the complete capacity. So they need to go in a big tank with other stuff around so they've got plenty of space. Okay, well how about a big wall of them, say over here? That might be fun. Okay, step one, do not just dump a giant pile of fish into this tank, okay? It's really important you don't do that, otherwise, yeah, um, they will all die. Just hands off the keyboard, let some people come in, let some money arrive. In fact, take this moment to appreciate what we got here. So, uh, yep, got a beautiful pool right here. You can put your hands in the water, which you shouldn't. We should really have signs up saying that. Then we've got ourselves uh, the beautiful pink and purple. I like this style because it means, yeah, you can see the people beyond the tank, which is really cool. But then you go through the mysterious tunnel and, uh, oh yeah, there's the big stuff. All right, I say big stuff. I'm going to be honest, I'm underwhelmed by this tank. I feel like we need more in it, to be honest. Like, yeah, just because the freshwater stuff, the actual uh, plants and whatnot, aren't actually that tall. Yes, you can just be inside the tank, which I do adore. Little uh, backstage area over here. And this is where the crabs are going to go. But okay, we need bigger stuff for this tank. It doesn't have the right level of uh, impact right now. Okay, hold the phones for a second. Somebody is selling pirate chests? Yes, give them to me. Okay, some of them couldn't fit, so we might have slightly too many uh, pirate chests dotted around. But really, when you think about it, is that actually a problem? I don't think that sounds like a real problem. Okay, and once more, before we start putting the crabs into the tub, we need to make sure we've got this right. So, uh, the crabs, what do they want? They want to have... Uh, Okay, one, they just need a fair whack of warmth, fair whack of water quality. So let's just set that up. Next up, they demand plants and soft coral together with a handful of rocks. Now put some rocks in already. That's fine. Massive rock tower at the back there. So, okay, they want soft coral. So this could be our coral and crab exhibition, which is going to be lovely. And yes, we've got two corals unlocked at the moment, both needing to eat zooplankton. They are soft coral, spectacular. They both need lights as well and to really high water quality, actually. So, okay, watch out for that nonsense. And they can fill up a lot of space in here because, uh, yeah, we're 72 and not more than 25. That's, what, about 18? Yeah, precisely 18. Crabs cannot contribute more than 18 to this place so there's enough space for them. So that's six crabs and I've got eight. So two of them are just spare. We'll put them somewhere else. It's fine. But I think we are finally ready to put the crabs into here. Yes, three. And it says 25% of tank capacity. So it should be A-OK -okay to toss in up to 18 all right, it says does not exceed 25%. That's precisely 25%. So presumably, they're going to all spread out at this point. So uh, that is now nowhere near enough rocks. Sorry, that's per... Okay, we need a handful more rocks. It's fine. Okay, some research later, we've got something that's going to get a bit bigger. So, right, these lads, Midas uh, Chiclets. Okay, let's just uh, learn a fact here. Sunny in colouring, but not in disposition. Okay, they're dicks, but it's fine. Because as long as we keep their numbers under control, it won't be an issue. So right there is uh, 54 capacity in there. So it needs to be either, yeah, 6 plus, which would be unacceptable once it hits 60. Or, hang on, no. Capacity of, uh, yeah, total tank capacity. So 6 would be fine, actually. That'd be A-OK. -okay. We just need to keep them topped up on vegetables. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to be needing vegetables now. And as they're the only vegetable eater, vegetable case can just go right here. So, in you go. Oh, somebody is. Somebody is keen to deal with those fish. Also, water quality is going down again. Okay, now, while those fish aren't growing, back over to my crabs. Because, yes, the crabs... They need company. We've got some coral and... Hang on, actually. With science under control, we can get a bit more coral than again. We probably can't. The tank is not big enough. There's no space for more coral. So, okay. We might need to leave that be. But we do need fish. We need fish to just prop up this tank here. 
We just need something that's not going to eat the crabs or damage the coral. Oh, now would you look at this. I've unlocked a lionfish, a big, beautiful fish generating a dumb amount of science. Now, it does, when fully grown, want to eat crustaceans of up to size 4. However, yes, this crab has an effective size of 6 when calculating whether it can be eaten because it's armoured. So, the lionfish cannot eat the crab. So, as a result of that, yeah, let's get some flipping lionfish in there. And then we could supplement that with some porcupine puffers. They need pure water. We have got plenty of good water quality right here. They're going to grow again. They're going to try and eat crustaceans, but they're not going to be able to eat these lads. So that's fine. They've got a good size when it comes to defense. They're wimps, but no one with them is a bully. So they'll just eat some cockles. So up to eight when the time comes. So therefore I could have... If I put in four, it'll be fine. Okay, prestige at the bottom there is looking really good. The new tanks are working brilliantly. So let's just slap down, yeah, a little helpful guide to help people understand what's going on here. So if we just hack this to this old girl, now people are going to start learning. They're going to go over to that and they're going to learn what's in the tank. Though I can't deny it kills me that I've actually synced everything up to be, yeah, uh, three wide and the sign is only two. That is uh, agonizing, but what can you do? Maybe the best option is to, yeah, kind of uh, put them at the side in order to talk about, yeah, exhibits nearby. So this one could hook to here. There we go. I feel like we need to do something here. Okay, it needs to be synced to this one at the bare minimum. So you get hooked into there. And now we have many, many, you know, educational posters all about ecology and whatnot. People are going to read them and just look at that. They're just tossing prestige at me up to 949. Hey, come on. We just need to get up to 1,000. We need to keep the prestige coming in. Okay, let's just head down to the ground here. Because I think now the walkthrough is way more impressive. Someone just uh, sold me a little ancient gate, by the way. That's really nice. Just come through here. And now, yeah. These guys are fully grown. They're really nice and impressive. I like those guys. Uh, then we have got these helpful little plans uh, right here. The lionfish and pufferfish. Those are really good uh, with the coral. And the tiny crabs at the bottom that were extremely complicated to get working. But what can you do? And everyone's frozen in time. Don't worry, it's just a research thing. It's all okay. And there we go. We've done it. We've hit not a thousand. I assumed it was a thousand, but no, it was 980. Meaning, after all this work, we are now rank six. And a whole new pile of stuff unlocks. All sorts of decorations, new paints, all the rest of it. And on top of that, yeah. Big fish, jellyfish, and the new architectural stuff. Bridge tanks, bridges, everything. So there you go. I've been playing for uh, nearly three hours. It doesn't feel like it. This is one of those games I sit down to play for five minutes, then uh, three hours happens. And I've basically managed to create two rooms, or rather two rooms as far as the customers are concerned, because they don't see all this nonsense at the back, which is just absolutely sexy as anything and we have got ourselves a big beautiful tank right over here these fish growing really nicely over here fish are growing nicely too they definitely get uh, bigger as time goes by oh it's wonderful it's a wonderful bloody game damn it and okay if you've got the best memory in the world you might be looking at this thinking okay this looks very similar to how it was a couple of years ago and fine yes that's true they haven't you know massively overhauled it there aren't quick time events there's no driving sections there isn't a pinball mini game but i don't want any of that stuff this game was already really bloody good and now it's just the same thing but with a bit more interesting stuff going on more things that you need to keep an eye on in terms of which fish can hang out with which other fish more decorations more ways you can lay out your aquarium in terms of yeah bridges and tunnels and all the rest of it and and I can just play this for hours and hours and hours and have a, a lovely time. All right, I can't recommend anything more highly than that. Well worth a look, see if you've ever had a hankering for old school park builders. This is that. All right, this is a really surprisingly intricate, interesting park builder with way more depth than you might expect from just uh, glancing at it. So 
good thing. My welcome back for a live stream. We did a live stream uh, with this back in 2018, I believe, and it was great fun. So, may well see another one of them. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the utterly wonderful Mega Aquarium. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.